10 Most Incredible Junkyards in the World Yards are usually characterized by dusty remains of cars, trains, and planes that have seen better days, galloping all the scorching sun and the unforgiving rains that drain on them. A stroll across the world will leave you dumbfounded after spotting some of the most mind-taunting write-off collections kept over the years. If you haven't seen one in your vicinity, then you're in luck because we're about to expand your knowledge on this debate. In this video, we'll show you the 10 most incredible junkyards in the world. You'll be amazed at the last three. Watch till the end to find out why. But before we begin, kindly click on the subscribe button for more of our fantastic content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our new uploads. Let's get it on. Number 1. The Plain Yard in Arizona The desert in Arizona holds many secrets, such as a raw graveyard of abandoned plains in the middle of cactuses. This makes it the world's largest plain graveyard in the world today. Initially, it was the Davis Air Force Yard, founded in 1925. After the Second World War, it was expanded in 1940 to train bomber aircraft crews. Due to the area's dry climate and stony soil, it was turned into a plane conservancy. It allowed aircraft to be kept in uncoated sites. Today, more than 4,400 discarded planes are conserved here. This includes all the out-of-service American D-52 bombers capable of carrying nuclear weapons. Amazingly, the total value of the scrap at this site stretches well above $35 billion. The number of incoming damaged planes to this junkyard is almost equal to the number of outgoing ones sold to friendly countries. Fun fact about the Arizona plane yard, for each dollar spent on maintaining this aircraft cemetery, the base makes $11 for the sale of restored planes, which leaves you wondering, who's buying these planes? Number 2. Bangladesh Seaport Chittagong is one of the largest seaports in all of Asia. It's the major seaport of the Republic and one of the dirtiest places on the planet. Pools of oil mixed with water and lead spread along the filthy seashore. It's where all shipwrecks and metal dishes are found. In the 1950s, strict shipbuilding measures were placed, such as expensive insurance policies and strict environmental requirements. This made it quite challenging to scrap out ship metal. However, this changed when a severe storm caused a great huge to be shipwrecked at Chittagong. It proved to be irreparable and was eventually scrapped by the locals. Inadequate resources and a lack of strict environmental standards by the government turned this place into a ship graveyard in just a few years. The yard is spread over 20 kilometers along the coast. Today, about 200 ships are scrapped every year. An excruciating manual task. This law-breaking process sends 300 men to disability annually. Number 3. The Car Cemetery in South Belgium A car cemetery has recently been discovered in a forest in South Belgium. Unearthed were several BMW cars that had been covered in moss, rust, and mold for decades. These retro cars are said to be owned by American soldiers who were stationed here during World War II. When the soldiers returned home, they found out that they would not be compensated for transporting the cars. Unfortunately, due to high custom charges, no vehicle was returned to the United States. All of them were left to erode in the thick forest hidden. What had not been destroyed by corrosion was taken away by thirsty collectors and locals. Number 4. Michigan's 4,000 New Diesel Cars more than 4,000 new diesel cars were left behind at a stadium in Michigan and are very likely to be reutilized. In September 2015, Volkswagen found itself battling in an environmental scandal. Audi and Volkswagen cars with a 2-liter diesel engine were equipped with software that understated the number of harmful exhaust gases when in action. The companies admitted the fault while selling to the cars to the United States and were forced to buy back the cars from the owners. The question of where to store the over 4,000 vehicles then emerged. A decision was made and the vehicles were transported to three sites in the U.S., including the stadium, an ex-military base in California, and an idle import in Baltimore. Number 5. Locomotive Ghost Town A ghost town had been discovered just three kilometers away from the famous plains of Bolivia. The graveyard in the open air maintained tumbledown and rusty legendary railway specimen believed to be more than 100 years old. The railway tracks were built here back in the 19th century. The government thought it would be a promising regional center and a powerful transport mode. However, this did not work as the locals saw this as an invasion of their lands and protested. 
Again, the railway was only used to transport ore by mining companies that were being depleted quickly, which left the trains idle. The area became empty as the railway went into decline with the locomotives slowly eroding due to the hot and dry climates. This led to the formation of a locomotive cemetery filled with corroded trains and railway lines. Number 6. The Green Art Park In the United States exists a park where green trees coexist with tons of corroded rusty metal. A creative doctor created a world out of his imagination where the metals are combined to develop strange structures. The doctor, Tom, collects discarded metals that impresses him and turns them into beautiful art. He opened an industrial processing company and filled it with years of collected scrap metal. At the center of the yard, Tom erected his best creation known as the Forever Throne, a gravity spaceship that's been recorded as the largest metal structure in the Guinness Book of World Records. For it holds a total weight of 320 tons, towers 15 meters high and stretches 50 meters wide. Number 7. The Graveyard of the Chernobyl Machines in the village of Beryakivka lies the radioactive equipment left after their use in the evacuation and quarantine of the Chernobyl disaster victims. After their horrific experience, everything was sent to Poxica and Byrokibaka. Unfortunately, Boska was liquidated in 2013 where dozens of first responders' vehicles were destroyed chemically. Imagine all these vehicles were once vital tools in rescuing hundreds of lives, now unattended to, creating one of the ghostly junkyards in the world. Number 8. Tank Graveyard 20 miles away from the Russian border lies an abandoned yet heavily guarded secret tank graveyard housing more than 400 Soviet tanks. In the 1960s, this was a thriving tank repair plant, specializing in upgrading and the maintenance of old tanks. However, as time went by, productivity fell after the Soviet Union split from the newly independent Ukraine. Ukraine could not manage the cost of upgrading the machines. Today, there exists only a handful of mechanics to repair their current tanks. Number 9. RAF Folkingham RAF Folkingham in the UK started as a decoy airport that had a fake runway and fake planes. The main idea was to dupe bombers where they would launch an attack. It would end up in the wrong airport without anything valuable to the country. It was an expensive venture, but a very brilliant strategy designed to save lives as well as the country's economy. It was later sold for agricultural purposes and is now used to store vehicles for parts and repairs. Number 10. The Secret Motorcycle Yard An abandoned warehouse once owned by a man called Cole hosted hundreds of motorcycles. He was well known as a man with a sharp eye for business. He bought a bunch of Japanese broken bikes, quickly amassing a vast collection. Sadly, he died before completing the project of repairing and selling them. Later, the warehouse was purchased by a guy called Frank, who discovered that it would cost too much money to fix the house as it was slowly breaking down. Authorities condemned the building and Frank just left, leaving behind hundreds of motorcycles to rot. Did you enjoy our video? Click on the subscribe button for more of our incredible videos. Give us a like and share the video. Let us know what you think in the comments section below.